What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I am currently on the way to Whole Foods and I realized I have never done a Whole Foods grocery haul. So why not today be that day? Let's go. your cart back people okay i'm gonna quickly run through this because a lot of that has to go in the freezer and then we'll get in to the grand total so first up we have some sushi this is gonna be our appetizer for dinner tonight we've got some raspberries a big old thing of blueberries they were on sale a cantaloupe haven't been able to find cantaloupe literally anywhere um some strawberries cameron wanted this mac and cheese it's just like the Whole Foods brand. Ithaca hummus. I love the lemon garlic flavor. It's my absolute favorite. And then lemon dill, next favorite. I can't find Ithaca hummus anywhere else. Some Alexia crispy rosemary fries with sea salt. Two of the Olipop vintage cola, um, like sparkling tonic probiotic drinks. We haven't been able to find this flavor, but I'm very curious to see if this actually tastes like Coke. I'm not really a soda fan, but Cameron does like Coke, so that'll be cool to see. Um, classic Paleo Ranch. I use this for my Paleo Buffalo Chicken Dip, and I haven't been able to find this anywhere. And then I just got the Whole Foods like 365 Organic Buffalo Wing Sauce, also for Paleo Buffalo Chicken Dip. Some white wine vinegar, because my grandmother makes the best salad dressing and it's literally white wine vinegar, olive oil, and then like some seasonings. I don't know how she does it. Like, it's incredible. So we're gonna try to recreate it. And then I also got this water. Um, I don't even like sparkling water, but to be honest, Cameron drinks out of like a San Pellegrino bottle and Kylie Ross drinks out of this. So I felt a little bit left out. So I bought my own glass bottle. It's a liter. Can't go wrong, can't go wrong. Next bag, we have some 365 Whole Foods Market pita crackers. Um, my favorite crackers ever, the Simple Mills sea salt ones made with almond flour, delicious. Uh, another random frozen possible appetizer for dinner one night, sea salt and pepper calamari. Um, Sour rings, not gonna lie, I watched a Whole Foods haul before going to Whole Foods and everyone said these are amazing because they're lemonade and pomegranate flavored. I love lemonade, so I'm very excited to try those. Some carrot sticks to have with the hummus and then Lesser Evil popcorn was on sale two for seven. So we got the Himalayan sweetness and the Himalayan pink salt. If you haven't had Lesser Evil popcorn yet, it is Phenomenal. I highly recommend, but that is a little Whole Foods haul. Let me grab the receipt. All right, 
I don't even know how many items this is. Does this tell me? 22 items in total. And honestly, this was cheaper than I was expecting it to be because last time we went there, we got like five things and it was, I think like $70 but I got 22 items for $109. Yes, expensive, but Whole Foods is known for being a little bit pricier. But once again, it has those brands that I can't find anywhere else. So I'm very pleased with this haul. Okay, quickly before this is over, we're trying the Sour Rings. This one is just like a really pretty light pink color. Very good, very, very good. If you like lemonade and you like sour candy, highly recommend. Okay, these lived up to all my expectations. I'm glad I went with those. I really don't ever have candy in the house, but when I heard lemonade and pomegranate, I couldn't resist, couldn't resist. Anyway, I am very pleased with this Whole Foods haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you all next time. Bye.